This segment is powered by Gamma Razor Fast Sweepstakes. Slow rackets are boring. Go to Gamma Tennis on Facebook to enter. Good day, tennis fans, and welcome to Tennis Now's weekly countdown show. Tennis will soon be making its return to New York City for the final Grand Slam of the year at the U.S. Open. Television commentators and players often say that tennis in New York is unlike tennis anywhere else. So this week we've made a list of the top five things that make the U.S. Open unique. Late Night Tennis In sharp contrast to Wimbledon, which imposes an 11 p.m. curfew on play, the U.S. Open plays deep into the night. Multiple night matches are scheduled in Arthur Ashe Stadium, and depending on the length of the early matches, the showcase match of the night might not start until 9 p.m. or even 10 p.m. Since these matches are five setters for the men, these matches can last late early into the morning. In fact, in 2008, Rafael Nadal beat Marty Fish in a quarterfinal match that ended well after 2 a.m. Sheer size. The US Open is the biggest tennis tournament in the world in several ways. Last year's event drew record crowds, both to the venue and to their television sets, with their record-breaking tennis views. Despite rain delays and cancellations, the tournament attracted 650,000 fans to the USTA's Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. Not to mention Arthur Ashe Stadium is the biggest tennis stadium in the world, holding 22,500 people. Honoring of the U.S. Greats With all the eyes of the tennis world on New York for the U.S. Open, the USTA takes advantage of the opportunity. Former American tennis greats are often honored at the Open. In 2006, the National Tennis Center was named after Billie Jean King in an on-court ceremony. And Pete Sampras was the honoree at a retirement ceremony in the 2003 U.S. Open. This year, Andre Agassi will be inducted into the U.S. Open Court of Champions, prior to the men's final match on September 9th. Super Saturday. The second Saturday of the U.S. Open is a tennis extravaganza. Both men's fi semifinals are played in the afternoon, and the women's final follows in the evening. While it's great for television, the format has its criticisms, mainly from players who don't like the fact that the U.S. Open is the only Grand Slam that doesn't give the men a day of rest between the semifinals and the finals. Noise. The U.S. Open is loud. Whether it's rock music piped into the stadiums during changeovers, or it's the sound of planes flying overhead, the U.S. Open is not a quiet affair. Just the sheer presence of 22,000 fans in Arthur Ashe Stadium for a dramatic night match will raise the decibel level. That wraps up our top unique things about the U.S. Open. Be sure to let us know what you think makes the U.S. Open unique, either in the comments section below or on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.